Hey folks, it's Billy DKY, the truth seeker that simplifies and demystifies. This is going to be my advice to a teenager who wants to know if they should be in, should they stay with the plan of being a lawyer or should they go with their heart and follow the MMA route, which is what they really want to do right now anyway, or what, what, what should they do? And like I always say, you know, Following the way of growth follows nine principles and try to figure it out as much as you can. You know, we'll talk maybe a little bit more about that, but I think you've heard that story before. First link in the information section video. Okay, so you pr here's the here's the teenager's situation. He's 14. He's on the lawyer path. You know, taking advanced classes, trying to set himself up so he can be a lawyer. You know, and go down that path. But yeah, recently he's been. Uh, that's not been what's on his heart. What he's sort of getting tired of that and wanting to, you know, consider an MMA. It's really what's on his heart. All his friends tell him it's stupid, and you know he's never making it good enough. All this, okay. I wouldn't want to encourage anybody to go into any sport per se because the odds are you're not going to be the best. However, well, I also wouldn't recommend it because of all the injuries you're going to get. However, with that said, sometimes it's just some people's destiny to do it, and that's just the way it is. So, you're 14, you're still young, you got plenty of time to figure it out, and especially if you apply the principles of, you know, question it, every, all your decisions, and taking baby steps to try to figure it out, and, and principle one, apply yourself, you know, applying yourself to figure it out. But with all that said, what I would do, you're still young enough, you can diversify. I would go, he, he was also talking about taking a free wrestling class. So what I would do, I would diversify. I would do both, and I wouldn't do any, I, and I would just experiment, like I was saying here. Apply yourself, principle one. I would actually apply. I would do. I would go take the free wrestling class and the jiu-jitsu class, and at the same time, I would still go ahead and take the advanced classes. You get all the exposure that all your friends are going to have, except instead of trying to be like an A plus student, maybe you take back off and just make B's, you know, say, I'm going to take all the classes that my smart friends are taking, or the smart classes, or advanced classes, whatever you want to call them, you know, I'm assuming you're an A student prior to this, since you're taking those classes and have that frame of mind, I would back off, back off and get lesser grades, don't take the, the lawyer stuff too serious, and maybe not even take the MMA stuff too serious, just feel it out, you know, just feel it, just Delve into both of them and just see what works for you instead of, you know, you don't have to have the decision today. And that's what falling away of growth is about. You don't have to have the decision, but you've got principles here that can help you figure it out through time. You know, like that's why principle two is baby steps. You're not trying to figure it out all at once. And that's why we have principle two, uh, question everything. You just keep applying, applying yourself and question it, take baby steps. And then principle four, attention, pay attention. What do you really want to do? And uh, discipline yourself to, to, to figure it out. Okay. Give you a quick story of a guy I knew who was going to be a boxer. And he was, you know, he was in, I don't know if he's in a boxing match or just practicing, but he got hit in a kidney shot or a liver shot. And he told me it was one of the worst punches he'd ever had. And, he, and when he got that kidney or liver shot, he said, he started thinking to himself, he said, you know what? Why shouldn't I go back to college? And really, you know, you may have an incident in MMA where it makes you think that same way. So I would keep myself diversified. I wouldn't close myself off to any one avenue at this point. Uh, I think, like I said, I think I would take the, the, the advanced classes and maybe not try to do as hard as you normally would and, and just feel it out and just, just try to figure out what you want to do with life. So that's my advice on it. Again, you know, try to keep these principles in your head and try to... And, and, and don't look for an immediate solution, but definitely uh, keep your options, uh, options open. Until the next video, later folks.